All right, we are live. Today is January 17th, 2023, and we are live for another Daily Rates Live with the Mortgage Calculator. My name is Nick Hershey. I am the president and founder of the Mortgage Calculator. We are a lender that specializes in alternative documentation, income mortgages, as well as conventional FHA, VA, and USDA. And today we are joined with our COO, Kyle Hershey, and our sales manager, Jose Gonzalez, who will go into a deep dive into our manufactured home loan programs, specifically our DSCR program for investors. So manufactured homes are traditionally uh, very difficult, if not impossible, to uh, finance as an investment property, but they are very popular investment type properties for uh, investors as they typically have a high cash flow to cost ratio uh, and therefore a high DSCR ratio. So we do have a few programs available uh, for a manufactured home purchase or refinance with our DSCR programs for no employment, no income, which are pretty amazing. So we'll go into detail on those a little bit later after we go over the live rates for today because it is about 11 a.m. right now. The markets are wide open and the rates are posted for today. So let me go ahead and pull up my rate engine here. Give me one second. And here is our pricing tool. So again, at the Mortgage Calculator, we are a lender that specializes in all kinds of different uh, loan types, but we always wanna go over in this show uh, some of the different options. So we'll use our pricing tool here. This is our uh, pricing tool for our mortgage loan officers, our mortgage professionals. Uh, so again, this is just an indication of the pricing. If you want a full loan estimate, please get with one of our licensed loan officers. We're licensed in 17 states now uh, for primary and secondary uh, home loans. And then for investment properties, specifically for a lot of our DSCR business purpose loans, we can do those in almost every state. Uh, so a lot of different options. If you want a detailed breakdown, please get with our team. But let's go ahead and check out the rates this morning on some of our standard programs. Uh, so here we're going to set up our pricing engine uh, with a pretty standard scenario that we will use for pretty much all of our quotes this morning. We'll pull up an 80 percent loan to value that means 20 percent down payment scenario which is pretty common 400,000 is going to be the loan amount desired price what this means is most of our customers right now uh, because the rates are a little higher uh, than they have been in the recent past have been asking to buy down the rate so what this means is we will look for a rate with around one point in buy down so most of our customers are asking to buy it down a little bit typically financing that through some sort of seller concession right now in order to make their rates a little bit better. We also have the temporary buy down programs and all those kinds of great uh, options as well. But for simple scenarios, we'll just look for one discount point in cost here on these scenarios for this morning. We're gonna do this morning to start with a conforming loan, conventional loan. Uh, we'll also go through a few different options. You see, these are our loan types. We have our expanded, which means our non-QM. We have FHA, which we'll go through in a minute. And as well, we have our VA and USDA options, uh, which we won't go through in detail today, uh, but we can talk about it a little bit. We're going to do a purchase, 30-year fixed for our scenario. It's going to be a primary home, regular single family home, one unit. And for all of our examples, we use Florida, Miami, Day. That's where our office is based. And over here, you'll see our credit. We will use 760 for our estimated FICO for all our example pricing. And we will use an estimated 40 DTI for all of our estimates here. Uh, so everything up here is going to be similar for all of our scenarios. Let's check out what we have for our conventional loans today. You see this is a live tool, so I do have to pass a security check. Must not have passed that one. Let's see if we can get past this one. And we see our live rates here. So again, we love to do this every morning. The rates do... Uh, get better or worse over time. Thankfully, right now, we're seeing rates get better over the last couple of weeks. Uh, so we have some options here for home ready and home possible programs. These are special programs that are uh, for our conventional loans, but for borrowers under an area median income or if a home's in a census tract. So uh, these are specific. Let's scroll down to our standard. First standard option here, conforming 30-year fixed, 6% rate, is around one discount point in cost. So again, since uh, last week, the rates have gone down a little bit. So some great options here for our conforming standard 30-year fixed. 
Uh, we have a few other uh, variations of the program as well as you can see here. Now, let's go ahead and check out our other options. So if we go back to our quick pricer here, let's pull up the same scenario for an ADL TV, but if a customer does not qualify for conventional or conforming, we're typically going to go to our next best option, which is gonna be our FHA financing. So let's check out our FHA rates for again, ADL TV, 20% down, uh, 99 is our desired price, meaning one discount point in cost to find a rate that's going to be relatively equal to what we just saw for conforming. And everything else is gonna stay the same. Purchase, 30 year fixed, primary, Miami-Dade, 760 FICO, 40 DTI. And we will check out what our FHA options are this morning. So if a borrower doesn't qualify for conventional, FHA is the next best option, which allows us to expand our guidelines on DTI, as well as a few other various guidelines, which help uh, our borrowers qualify in some cases. See here our top program today, we're around five and a half percent rate for just under one discount point in cost. And you see, we have quite a few programs. We even have some specialty things uh, you'll see here, such as our 203K, which we'll talk about in some other shows, our 203H. These are specialty FHA programs you can talk with our team about uh, if you have some specialty needs there. Uh, but some great options there for FHA. Remember to keep in mind to look at the APR for FHA because there are additional costs uh, when you get an FHA loan, such as monthly mortgage insurance and an upfront mortgage insurance. So make sure you compare APR because it's a little bit higher uh, than the rate and that will allow you to compare programs side by side. Now, what gets us excited here at the mortgage calculator and what we specialize in is for borrowers who don't qualify for conventional conforming or FHA, there's typically not a lot of other options. So let's go back to our quick pricer, pull up the same scenario. And now we have a borrower who may not qualify for conforming or FHA. There are a few other options, as we mentioned VA, but that's only for borrowers who have served in the armed forces and are qualified. So if you do have a certificate of eligibility, we thank you for your service. And we can quote these VA loans instantly as well, as USDA is only for properties that are in rural areas. So if you need a quote for those, please get with our team. We can quote those quickly. Uh, but for most scenarios, if you can't qualify for conforming or FHA at a lot of lenders or banks, you're stuck. But that's where we come into the mortgage calculator. We specialize in our non-QM or expanded guidelines options. So for a borrower who may not qualify, a lot of the times our self-employed borrowers do not qualify using full tax returns or full documentation. So we go to our expanded options. Everything else is going to stay the same. Primary purchase, single unit, Miami-Dade. Same FICO score, same DTI, but we're going to change the income documentation to qualify and determine that debt to income ratio, this DTI, the income. So our most popular program on the non-QM space are our bank statement programs. So that's what will be what we go through here in a second. But we also have all kinds of other options from a full doc non-QM, which would be for various reasons, uh, but one year alt doc, two year alt doc, asset related, we'll go in some other shows on that. Uh, business bank statement, very popular. Uh, investor DSCR, we'll do that when we get into our investment quotes. And uh, personal bank statements, 12 and 24, are uh, obviously our most popular programs and a few other options as well. So for today's show, we will always start with the personal bank statement, 12 months, since that's our most popular program. That's only for self-employed borrowers. So realtors or anybody else in the gig economy can qualify for these. And we will determine a debt to income ratio here of 40 by using 12 months of personal bank statements in this case. So this is our most common option for someone who doesn't qualify for either FHA or conforming. We still have a ton of options we'll see here in just a second. So let's go ahead and pull up our bank statement options. See, we have dozens of programs. These programs do vary. You see there's various costs and rates. Uh, some of our best option, the computer determined here was a 7.875 rate for just under one point. But there are a ton of other ones. Obviously, this one wouldn't be advisable, very high cost, uh, but this one seems very reasonable and so on. So rates vary and programs vary widely. A lot of our non-QM programs do allow credit events, such as a foreclosure or short sale bankruptcy, things like that. So a lot of these ones with uh, programs with different options towards the higher end and the nines and tens are obviously going to be for people with special uh, credit events and such. Uh, but you see, we just have a ton of different programs and options we can place our borrowers in so that we can qualify borrowers who would otherwise not qualify. These rates are gonna be a little bit higher uh, than what you see obviously on the conforming, but again, 
great options to get our borrowers who would otherwise not be able to get a home into the home of their choice. You can also increase your buying power, as Jose highlights a lot of times, uh, by using a different income documentation. A realtor may only qualify for a $300,000 home because of their full documentation income. But when we can determine with bank statements that they make a substantial amount of income, we can then qualify them for maybe a $500,000 home based on the same borrower, but using a different income documentation method. So a lot of popular options here uh, under the non-QM programs. Now let me switch pace a little bit here. Every morning, we also want to check out our investment options. So we're going to switch this up from primary occupancy to investment property. Uh, so we love working with investors here at Mortgage Calculator. That's uh, really what we specialize in um, and what we serve the most are our investors, people either whether they're a first time investor uh, looking to get, uh, for example, a lot of requests for short term rental properties or an investor with 100 properties that needs to just continue to, uh, you know, refinance current properties and purchase new properties under our DSCR program. So uh, we get a ton of requests for this and these options are available for anyone out there. So first, we'll pull up our conforming loan, conventional loan options for an investment property purchase, 30 year fixed, everything else the same for our borrowers who do qualify full doc. Now you'll notice once I show the rates here that the rates are going to be substantially higher or in a, uh, this case, more expensive is another way to describe it. Uh, so the GSEs, uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have added uh, what I would describe as a penalty in cost. So you'll see there are no one point discount cost options. Uh, because uh, the Fannie and Freddie have added a penalty because they don't want to do as many investment properties as they have in the past. And they added a penalty over the last year or so. Uh, so you'll see here, we got some decent rates, but there are high costs. So we have a ton of options, uh, but just keep in mind that these discount points do impact your bottom line. So typically we have a lot of investors leaning the other way, right? If you may qualify for conforming uh, because of these discount points and these extra costs, uh, a lot of our investors want to save money out of pocket. So we typically see a lot of investors leaning towards non-QM options, even though it's a higher rate, because they can save discount points and costs. So let's go ahead and check out our amazing other options for investment properties. So if you're working with a bank or some other lender that doesn't have non-QM, conforming is the only option, right, for an investment property, which you just saw was a little bit cost prohibitive. Uh, luckily, we here at the Mortgage Calculator have hundreds, uh, even thousands of other expanded guideline programs for investors and first time investors alike to purchase investment properties under all kinds of different options. So let's go ahead and check out our non QM options, our expanded guidelines for investment property uh, purchases. And one thing to note here, of course, the income we can change, but also on every investment property under non QM, we're typically going to have a prepayment penalty. These are specialty programs uh, by all of our outlets. And so they do typically have a three year prepayment. You can obviously do no prepayment if you wish. Um, that's going to cost a little bit more. You can even add a little bit more prepayment and that will cost a little bit less. But most of our pricing is at a three year prepay. That's pretty standard when you're purchasing an investment property under our non QM programs. Now, there are a ton of income verification documentation options. Uh, we went over bank statements. That's very popular for investors. Uh, but our hands down most popular program by far is our investor DSCR programs. Uh, so we have a couple hundred of these programs that are specialized for investors to purchase investment properties with no income, no employment documentation. We're solely going to use the rental property income from the rental property uh, from the appraisal value typically. So uh, as long as the property will cash flow, uh, we can typically qualify these loans and even properties that don't quite cash flow, we could even qualify using various methods. So Jose will go into detail here in a little bit about how to use this particular program for a manufactured home, which is a very different uh, can of worms uh, than your typical scenario here. So for the demo today, for the pricer, we'll pull up a standard scenario, a one unit, regular single family investment property under our DSCR program where the investor doesn't need a, any employment documentation or any income documentation. We're just going to use the rent income from the property. So let's check out what we have here. So you see here, the rates are a little higher. As we mentioned, non-QM always is a little bit higher, but we have a lot of flexibility. So no income documentation, no employment, very popular for our investors, really quickly can get these loans done and can get multiple done at the same time. 
Um, and the one thing I mentioned before was the discount points. So since we can go higher in rate, we can offer a higher rate, which still works for a lot of investors because the property cash flows, they don't really particularly care what the rate is as long as the property cash flows for them. And they can save money out of pocket on discount points. So you can have under one discount point in cost and save cash out of pocket for your down payment. So a lot of great options here. We have hundreds of DSCR programs. They do very widely in the different uh, kind of niches that these are in. And obviously you see here it has a DSCR value on all these programs. So just, uh, you know, dozens of programs for every scenario and they do vary. So please get with our loan officers. They can go through all the various options. Uh, in particular, we have different options for short-term rentals versus long-term rentals, et cetera. Uh, so this is our most popular option for investment properties by far and is also as Jose is about to go into here in a second, available for manufactured homes, which is pretty unheard of. Uh, not a lot of uh, lenders out there have options for manufactured homes. And in particular, uh, uh, there's hardly any out there that offer the DSCR program for manufactured homes. So let me go ahead and uh, stop sharing my screen. And we'll bring Jose in here to go ahead and introduce the manufactured home DSCR. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for joining us this morning. Today, we're going to go over DSER, Manufactured Home Purchase and Cash Out Refinance Options. Okay, so um, we have uh, three options that we're going over. We're going over a DSER 1.0 or greater, which means that the uh, gross market rent is covering at least 100% of the housing expense. We have 0.75 to 0.99, meaning that the uh, rent is covering anywhere from 75 to 99% of the housing expense. And we have uh, less than 0.75, which means that the um, rent is less than 75% of the housing expense. Imagine that and we'll still fund the loan. So our first option is manufactured home DSCR greater than 1.0. You'll see that the uh, lowest cost rate is 9.625 at a cost of $350. And this is for a $350,000 loan. And the lowest uh, rate is 7.625. 875, roughly at a cost of three points, $10,413. Again, this is where the property is actually cash flowing at least 1.0. So it is at least meeting the housing expense with the rent. So that's 9.625 and 7.875. Now, the next option is the DSCR purchase at a 0.75 to 0.99 and these are at 70 percent loan to value i should have mentioned that 70 percent which is the maximum loan to value for this transaction type with a five-year prepay so in this option rate goes up a little bit because obviously here we are now not cash flowing we are less than a hundred percent so uh lowest cost rate is 10.125 at a cost of roughly 0 0.6 points. And the you can buy that down all the way down to 8.375 at roughly three points. Keep in mind, look at that rate. 8.375 is pretty much around, I mean, you wouldn't even be able to touch this with a um, conventional loan, but just comparing the rate on a full dock you can't do the manufactured home investment either. So, but if you could, theoretically, the rate is not much higher here. So, uh, but the big difference is here we can do it conventional. You can't touch it with like a thousand foot long pole. So next option now to really blow your mind is the less than 0.75. Wow. So, I mean, theoretically, this could go down to zero. I don't think there's any zero DSER properties because there's going to be some amount of rent. But still, this is a mind blower. 70% LTV manufactured home purchase. 10.125 is the lowest cost rate. Uh, it's roughly like 1.5, 1.6 points, uh, $5,600 in cost. And you can buy that down to eight. 
0.875, still a very good rate. And you know that these manufactured homes typically do cash flow. So I don't really think you're going to find this scenario usually happening with a manufactured home. But if it does, we do have the solution. Now we're going to uh, go over the cash out refis on the manufactured home. Same scenario, 1.0, 0.75 to 0.99, and less than 0.75 DSER. This is a maximum 65% loan to value. And in all of these examples, we're using a five-year prepayment penalty. So you'll see here, again, very good rate, 9.375 at a nominal cost of 0.1 points. And you can buy it down to 7.75%. Very, very good option there. A little bit over three points on that cost, but it is 7.75%, 65% LTV cash out. That's our greater than 1.0 option. We have our 0.75 to our 0.99 option. Again, 65% LTV max. And in this scenario, we are now not cash flowing. We are below 100%. We will still do the loan. 10.125% rate is the lowest cost option. And you can buy that down to 8.125%, uh, roughly three and a quarter points on that one. It's very good option. 8.1%, 8.125% lowest cost op, um, lowest rate with 10.125 as the lowest cost option. And now final option is the less than 0.75. Again, theoretically down to zero, 65% loan to value, five-year prepay. And we can still do 10.125 as the lowest cost option with buy down possible to 8.625% at roughly 3.4 points. So again, very, very good options. These are mind blowers because again, we are not cash flowing. We are doing a manufactured home. We're doing DSCR and we're doing investment. This is like everything that conventional says you can't do, we can do. So for your investors that love the cash flow of manufactured homes, even though we're showing here less than 1.0 and less than 0.75, we all know that these manufactured homes do cash flow very well. That is why the investors love them. That is why we love offering these options, these solutions for those investors in those areas that may have a predominantly manufactured homes, we do have solutions. We love offering solutions at the mortgage calculator. Thank you, sir. Let me go ahead and uh, pass it over to Kyle, who can talk about how we can uh, connect anybody on the call here with one of our loan officers to get a full quote, as Jose said there, with all the details, the cost breakdown, um, and all the final details to get you more info. So go ahead and take it over, Kyle. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so uh, we have over 350 loan officers all across the country. We are licensed in 16 different states, and a lot of these uh, DSCR loans, investment properties, we can do in many more states. So if you're already working with one of our loan officers, that's amazing. They will take care of you. If not, you can go ahead and go to our website, themortgagecalculator.com, which is right there, and you can go ahead and submit an application there. Uh, we will connect you with one of our loan officers that will go ahead and help you out with your situation. Now, as Nick said, uh, not only can we do conventional FHA, VA, USDA, but our loan officers can consult you through the process to see uh, if you qualify for one of these special programs, uh, to see what it is that you're looking to do and help you through the process. So our loan officers are trained in conventional, but they are also trained in these different non-QM programs that we specialize in, such as the bank statements and the uh, DSC and all this kind of good stuff, right? So uh, you can email us info at the mortgage calculator.com and we can connect you with one of our loan officers or you can go to the website, the mortgage calculator.com and we can pair you up with one of our loan officers that's licensed in your state uh, so that we can uh, do some deals for you. So with that being said, we go live 
and we do this every single weekday. So we will be live tomorrow as well at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So you can go ahead and tune in every day, see the live rates, see where the market is at, and uh, get in touch with us if we can help you out. Everybody take care. Have a great day. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everybody.